All right, we're getting a lot of uh, questions from our customers about the dual load carrying ball joints and whether or not these ball joints are actually rebuildable. That's a great question. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're going to go through the process of rebuilding this ball joint, but it'd be best for us to show you what the internal design is before we get into that. So we're gonna use this cutaway. We have the stud, the wiper seal. This is a PTFE epoxy bearing. We have a tapered roller bearing. We have the race. There's a nylon washer, a rubber preload, and then of course the threaded plug. Some of the challenges that we think you'll run into is the fact that we press this PTFE epoxy bearing into the housing. So that's this piece right here. It presses into the ball joint housing. Okay, this is one of the upper ball joints that's been cycle tested, kind of used and abused around here. So we're gonna disassemble this, take the threaded plug out, push on that stud. And now we're going to press out the wiper seal and then that uh, PTFE epoxy bearing in there. Let's see how we do. Okay, so I got a chisel and a hammer. Um, the goal here is to try to do it like I'm doing it in my garage. So let's see how this goes. Switching over to a little bigger tool here. Kind of if you rip the seal out of the top, get to the lip of that bearing, as you can see right here from this side. And I'm putting that chisel right there on that lip. <laughs> and that's what's left. Okay, so now let's talk about trying to assemble the housing. So we have the wiper seal. You can see that it has a little bit of a lip on it. That's actually gonna stick out of the bottom. So we're gonna drop that into this housing here. Press that in, you can see the seal. The next part's gonna be this PTFE epoxy bearing. That's gonna press into this housing. So we'll see if we can press that in without using the hydraulic press. I got a seven eight socket here. That apparently looks like it'll work. And then I put an extension on it so I could hit it with a hammer. A little bit more. It's going fine though. All right, that's it. Wiper seal is in. The epoxy bearing is in. Looked out great. Okay, so now we're gonna take the stud, the tapered roller bearing. We're gonna press these two together. So I'm gonna use a half inch uh, Craftsman socket and uh, I'm not gonna do any damage to the outer piece of the bearing. I'm just gonna press on the inside and let's see if I can do it right here. Wish me luck. Perfect. So there's the stud with the tapered roller bearing on it. And that's it, it's ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is grease up the bearing. I'm just gonna brush a bit of this onto the stud. Pack that bearing as full as we can. Now I'm gonna drop the stud and the bearing into the housing. Slide it right in like that. We're going to take the race, drop the race in. Then you're going to notice two pieces. We have the nylon washer and the rubber o-ring. The nylon washer goes on top of the race. Next, we put the rubber O-ring on top of the nylon washer. One of the things you want to be sure is that the stud, that you can rotate it pretty smoothly in the housing. 
Um, if you cannot rotate this stud, it means you're gonna have high turning torque and it's gonna be hard to turn the wheels. So be sure when you're rebuilding your upper ball joint, grab that stud, be sure you could rotate that nice and easy. Um, again, it's all new, so it's gonna be a little bit tight, but if you can't rotate the stud, you have a problem, you may have rolled over the edge on that PTFEA epoxy bearing. And that's it.